This is the current monitoring system in use. I took a, an old oscilloscope probe and cut off the probe end, and then I uh, took and soldered the wires across uh, very close to the resistor, which is a 1 ohm non inductive resistor. Ooh, I guess that's as close as it'll go. WNE1R. Zero F E or E, I think. That was very kindly donated to me. So here we have essentially a Kelvin probe, and uh, this goes to the battery end, and this goes to the circuit end of the circuit that you're trying to monitor the current through to of. To be able to pass uh, uh, bipolar pulses, symmetrical about zero volts, down to the coil, I had to dig out the old, uh, the, this, this old wonderful H-bridge that was designed by, um, by my friend Ground Loop from the overunity.com forum. Uh, and he sent me the circuit board and the programmable microcontroller chip already pre-programmed and then I populated it with parts. The, uh, he, he sent this to me years ago and I've used it many times around the lab. I think this may be the first time that I've actually featured it in a video though. So it takes a DC input and it's a Darlington transistor H-bridge and creates a, a positive and negative going essentially AC output. I couldn't find the original transistors that he specified for it which were MJH 11022's uh, which are obsolete and very expensive. I can get them for about eight dollars a piece. Uh, so I substituted in some lower power Darlingtons. These are TIP 122's they cost 75 cents each, <laughs> quite a bit cheaper than the <clears throat> specified ones, but they're also a bit more fragile. I've blown out several sets uh, playing around, but it seems to be able to handle what we've got going on here pretty well. I also reworked the top suspension a little bit, and then later on I'm going to rework the bottom suspension, but right now I want to keep the bottom as it was so that the tests will be comparable. So that's the um, ground loop H-bridge uh, in position to provide uh, positive and negative going pulses to the coil. And I added a, a red LED down there so that when everything is going on, let's see here, we'll do just a, a quick little burst of demonstration. So, so uh, power on and hit the run switch and uh, so we have bipolar pulses now going to the coil with a period of about 1300 milliseconds and as you can see we get quite a bit of swing out of it. 